Hello and welcome to Karagawakul's Pub Quiz for the 1st of June 2018. This Friday we're going to be looking at art, islands and a voice actor. So I hope you're all up for that and the rules are as always 25 points on offer as of last week we're including that last question. Question 10 has two parts, question 19 has five parts. Give yourself a minute or two and the only materials you will need is a pen and paper. It's worth remembering that if you're competing alone, you're doing it not how it's designed. It's designed for teams of five people or less. And uh, as always, good luck. Upvote if you liked it on Reddit. And uh, I try to answer all comments. So if you've got anything to say or questions to ask, just get them done. Last bit of pre-roll. Thanks to my Patreon supporters. Support on Patreon does help it really encourages me to keep making these things. Uh, I'm already planning Quiz 53. This was 50, I'm planning 53. But uh, I'm not gonna push myself over summer. I'm gonna try and, you know, build up a bank of these things. But in any case, this week, our star supporters are Kieran, James, Stephen Bread, and Can Bay Must Have Bases. Which brings us now to question one. The verified oldest person to have ever lived was a French woman, Jeanne Louise Calmet. Uh, probably butchered that. Whose extraordinarily long life ended on the 4th of August 1997. How old, plus or minus three years, was she when she died? So, the oldest human being verified. How old? Question two. How many African nations have a coast on the Mediterranean Sea? So, along that red dotted line on the map, how many nations are represented? Question 3. What is the full name of the large pair of flat muscles on the back that stretch around to the sides behind the arm? If you only know the slang version, the short version, that's worth half a point. Question 4. Formula One, or just F1, is the highest class of single-seater auto racing. The fastest road course cars compete via a point system to crown a champion. For the whole point, you need to tell me, since 2010, when they updated it last, how many points are awarded to the first place finisher of a Grand Prix? Or, for half a point only, what is the lowest placement in a Grand Prix that earns points? So, obviously, first earns some points, second earns some points. What is the lowest placement that will earn some points? Question 5. In Judaism, one of the most widely celebrated religious festivals commemorates the liberation of the Jewish people from slavery in Egypt. In particular, it recalls the story of the last and greatest plague sent upon Egypt to convince the Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. What is the name of this festival? Question 6. The Scarlet Letter is an 1850 novel by American author Nathaniel Hawthorne. In the story, Hester Prynne gives birth to a child of unknown parentage and is then required to wear a letter of scarlet fabric sewn onto her clothes as a mark of shame at her sin. What letter of the alphabet is the titular scarlet letter? Question 7. This is the maths question. The following Venn diagram shows how many students take each of the scientists. Uh, each of the sciences. Given that one student chosen randomly takes chemistry, what is the chance that this student also studies at least one other science? Question 8. This is the acronyms question, so we're looking for you to expand any one of these acronyms. We have BODMAS teaches us the order of operations, et voila, or as they say in Latin, QED. They would face QPR in the next round. So you just have to expand any one of those. Question 9. Below is a mashup of four European flags. For the point, I want you to name any two of the countries or entities whose flags are represented. Question 10 is our two-parter and we're looking at the greatest voice actor ever. The most famous voice actor of all time, given the title The Man of a Thousand Voices, 
was an American who lived from 1908 until 1989. Both he himself and the characters that he voiced have its stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Such was his contribution to Warner Brothers animation that his headstone bears the iconic That's All Folks quote. What was this man's name? And for the second part, name any two of the characters below that were all, among a great deal of others, voiced by that one greatest voice actor. If you only get one of the two, one character, not two, you have half a point. Question 11. Which of the following facts about bats is not a fact at all and is instead totally wrong? Is it A, the large flying fox has a 1.5 to 1.7 meter wingspan? B, bat's scientific name, Chiroptera, Chiroptera? it means hand wing in any case. C, vampire bats can be found in Europe, Asia and Africa. D, bats are the only true flying mammals. Or E, Bat poop, better known as guano, was once more valuable than gold. Question 12. The island of Ireland is split between two sovereign UN-recognised nations. For Ireland, the two nations are indeed Ireland and the UK. Name the two or three countries that share any one of the multinational islands listed below. So the island of Hispaniola is shared by two or three countries. You can give those. The island of Sebatik is shared by two or three countries. Usedom, Usedom, don't know how to pronounce it. And Borneo, which I've heard of before. They're all shared by at least two, maybe three countries, and you need to give all the countries that have a claim of that island. Question 13. Vidut Quisling attempted to seize power during the Nazi invasion of Norway using the world's first radio-broadcasted coup d'etat. He worked with the occupying Nazi forces and was widely despised. The word Quisling has now become a byword for collaborator or traitor in several languages. What happened to him after the war? Was he A. Sentenced to death and executed? B. Killed by a soldier during arrest? C. Suicide? D. He fled to South America, or E. He received a life sentence but was murdered in prison. Question 14. The office of Pope is known to have existed since the time of the Roman Empire. The Popes have dwelt in Rome, or the independent Vatican within, for almost all of this history. However, between 1309 and 1376, the papacy relocated to another city in another country. Name this alternative papal city, or for half a point tell me which country the Pope moved to. You can either give the modern country that contains the city or the historic country that did contain the city. But that's only for the half point. For the whole point you have to tell me what the name of the city is. Question 15. This is the anagram. We're looking for a famous poet in Abel Milk Whale. Question 16. Below are images of two constellations from the Western Zodiac. Name both for half a point each. So, left image and right image are different constellations. Name them. Question 17. What year did all of these events happen? Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is published. Muhammad Ali, who was then still called Cassius Clay, was crowned heavyweight champion of the world for the first time. A Brazilian military, uh, the Brazilian military overflow, overthrows President Uai Goulart in a coup, starting 21 years of dictatorship in Brazil. The Rolling Stones release their eponymous debut album. Walt Disney's Mary Poppins premieres in Los Angeles. The IOC bans South Africa from this year's Tokyo Games. Nicolas Cage, Lenny Kravitz, Michelle Obama, Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves are all born. What year? Question 18. Which of the following four inventions was not originally discovered or invented by a Brit? 
Was it A, the sewing machine, B, the ballpoint pen, C, the lawnmower, or D, the vacuum thermos flask? One of those is not British, the other three were at the very least invented by a Brit. Question 19 then is our five-parter, and if you remember the title of this quiz, you might be able to guess what's coming. We're going to be looking at famous art. For each of the five following works of art, the question will be the same. Give any two of the following three details. The title of the, of the artwork, the artist's name, or the year in which it was completed, plus minus whatever tolerance I give. Things to note, you can get half a point for one detail, and the artist's last name is enough. You don't need their full name, just their last name. So, for 19A, give any two of the title, the artist's name, or the year of completion for the artwork shown below. For 19B, the artwork is this. Again, title, name, year of completion. This time you have a tolerance of 10. The previous one had a tolerance of 5. Next we have this, title, artist, for the year plus minus 20 in this case. For 19D, this piece of art, title, name, and in this case it's year plus minus 5. And to round it out, we've had enough paintings, we're going to look at this sculpture. Again, we're looking for the title, the name, or the year, and again this one is plus minus five. Alright, so there was some art. Question 20, who be playing? So this one is Shiny Happy People, that is of course the title of the song. Uh, shiny Happy People Laughing, Meet Me in the Crowd, People People, Throw Your Love Around, Love Me, Love Me, Take, me, take It Into Town, Happy, Happy, Put it in the ground where the flowers grow, gold and silver shine. Shiny happy people holding hands, etc, etc. Alright, me doing a very bad reading of this song aside, it is now time to go through the answers. So I hope you've answered everything that you think you can answer. If not, go back and look at it. Let's do the second half of this. Question one, we were looking for how old was the oldest person verified to have ever lived. It was 122 years. She outlived pretty much any expectation. The next longest lived person was only 119, so she has a three year clear margin at the top. She considered the Russian Revolution of 1917 and the execution of the Russian royal family to be the most historically significant event in her lifetime. Question two. The African Mediterranean border touches five countries, Morocco on the left, then Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt, progressing further to the right. Question three. The back muscle highlighted in the picture is the latimus dorsi, well, one of them anyway. Uh, lats is the slang name worth half a point. So latimus dorsi or lats for one point or half a point respectively. Question four was Formula One. You now get 25 points for first place. And the lowest place you can come in and still get some points is 10th place. Question five. In Judaism, the festival is Passover or Pesach. Question six. The scarlet letter is a letter A representing the sin of adultery. Question seven. So in this Venn diagram, the way to work this out if, oh dear, there is a, there's a problem with the fractions, but I'll fix that for the next version. But anyway, there are 84 chemists and 57 of them do physics, biology, or both. So the fraction is therefore 57 over 84, which simplifies down to 19 over 28. So either of those fractions is acceptable. Question eight, these are the acronyms. So it's a sneaky second maths question here because bod mass is of course brackets, order, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. It's been replaced in some places with uh, bed mass, 
Pedmas or Pendas or Pimdas, various things. But uh, that was Bodmas. The second one is QED, which stands either for Quad Erat Demonstrandum or Quid S Demonstrata. Uh, the first means as was to be demonstrated. So I have achieved what I said I would. And the second means uh, thus it is shown. It has been demonstrated. Uh, QPR is of course the simplest on the board as Queen's Park Rangers, the football team. Question nine, the flags. This week we had Poland on the left, Azerbaijan's colours in the middle, Gibraltar providing castle with key, and Monaco, whose flag is basically identical to Indonesia, except that it's in Europe. So you can't have Indonesia because I did specify European flags. Had to be Monaco. Question 10, the greatest voice actor of all time is of course Mel Blanc. His full name was Melvin Jerome Blanc, but Mel Blanc will do fine. And his characters were Yosemite Sam or Yosemite Sam, Foghorn Leghorn, Sylvester the Cat, Barney Rumble, and Pepe Le, Plu uh, Pepe Le Pew. Uh, other characters that he voiced included, of course, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Tweety, for the bird from Sylvester and Tweety, uh, Marvin the Martian, Speedy Gonzales, Wiley Coyote, and Woody Woodpecker. He was truly a man of a thousand voices. Question 11. It is not true that vampire bats can be found in Europe, Asia, and Africa. They can in fact only be found in Central and South America. Dracula, eat your heart out. Uh, the others are all true. The large flying fox is the largest species of bat with a monstrous wingspan. Uh, Chiro is hand and Pter is wing, so that's correct. Uh, the only other close to flying mammal is the flying squirrel, but really that only glides. So bats are the only true flying mammals. And guano was originally really, really valuable because it made both fertilizer and gunpowder. So it was odds on to be one of the most valuable things in the world before we learned how to nitrogen fix in other ways. Question 12. The island of Ireland is split between the UK and the Republic of Ireland. Hispaniola is split between the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Sebatik is split between Indonesia and Malaysia. Usedom is split between Germany and Poland. I didn't even know there was a split island other than Ireland in Europe. And Borneo, uh, probably the most famous island on the list because it's where orangutans live, is split between Indonesia, Malaysia and Brunei. So you needed the full list to get the point. It's pretty pretty harsh here. But uh, if you have any of those pairs or the trio for Borneo, you get the point. Question 13. Quisling was sentenced to death and executed. Norway is generally against capital punishment and the last execution in peacetime was in 1876. But in total, 25 Norwegians and 12 Germans were executed after World War II, including Quisling. The death penalty was fully abolished in Norway subsequently in 1979 and it's actually constitutionally prohibited now as of 2014. Question 14. The office of Pope moved to the city of Avignon. It was called the Avignon Papacy. Uh, Avignon at the time was not actually in France, which is of course where it is now. It was part of the Holy Roman Empire, so if you didn't get Avignon and you were guessing for a country, France or the Holy Roman Empire would have been good enough. For just half, of course. Question 15. The anagram, we were looking for William Blake, whose most famous poem is, of course, Tiger, Tiger, Burning Bright. The constellations for question 16 were Libra on the left, the scales, and Taurus, the bull on the right. You can have the descriptive names, I guess, scales or bull, um, just because they're called that in some other languages that don't like the Latin names. Anyway, I picked these two because I thought they looked most understandable, like you can kind of see the two arms of the scale and the two horns of the bull, so hopefully that felt relatively fair. Question 17, the what year? It was 1964. And what this taught me is that Nicolas Cage and Keanu Reeves are getting old. Question 18. The 
invention that was not British was the ballpoint pen, which was invented by John J. Loud in the USA, maybe, but he didn't do anything with it, so later it was reinvented by Laszlo Biro, who was Hungarian, and that is why, of course, we still call some pens Biros. Question 19. The first 19A is Guernica by Pablo Picasso in 1937. So very famous picture about the horror of the Spanish Civil War that was going on at the time. Question 19B, The Great Wave. Uh, the full title is The Great Wave off Kanganawa, but Wikipedia informs me that just The Great Wave is sufficient. It was made by Hokusai in around 1830. So you get a plus minus 10 for uh, that. But I suspect this is going to be one of the tougher ones. 19C. This is Lady with an Ermine by Leonardo da Vinci. It was painted in 1489. So I knew that this was a da Vinci and I might have gotten that it was Lady with Ermine. But uh, I certainly don't think I've been able to guess the date because I'm bad at art. 19D. This is Nighthawks by Edward Hopper, and it was painted in 1942. And lastly, we have The Thinker by Rodin, or Auguste Rodin, and it was sculpted either in 1880 when he made his first one of it, or 1904 when it became its own work of art. So you get plus minus five from either of those dates. Which I think wraps us up. We just got the Who Be Playing, which was of course R.E.M. singing Shiny Happy People. Sounds nothing like the, most of their songs, but never mind. And uh, yeah, add up your points, come and post in the Reddit thread, let me know what you think. Thanks again to my patrons, and I hope you all have a great week. I've got my birthday coming up soon, so I'm looking forward to that. Alright. Peace, love, and goodwill.